We now welcome a staple of Hobbs Grove, one of the permanent residents, Billy Bob, to tell us more about the changes coming this season. Billy Bob, thank you for joining us. We're excited to hear there will be a Hobbs Grove this season, but how has the pandemic changed the way you operate? Oh, it's changing it quite a bit. Um, we're only going to be doing the haunted forest this year because it's completely outdoors. Uh, can't do the, the haunted house because it's indoors and the hayride too many people on the trailer. But we're going to do the forest and we've extended it. So it's going to be like a, a twice as long trail. So that's that's going to be fun. Well, well that, um, that's exciting. Will there be as many scary you know, moments that people are, you know, they come to get scared. So is it going to be just as scary as before? But if it's bigger, oh, does that mean there's going to be more scary stuff in there? Well, we're, we're limited to the amount of actors that we can have, but we've got uh, scare zones all throughout. So, yeah, it's going to be scary. Uh, it's going to be a different way of scaring because, you know, we have to stay at least six feet away. But all of our actors will be wearing masks or some type of face covering. And, uh, you know, groups are going to be distanced. Um, this year we're doing timed ticketing. So you can only purchase your tickets online and you have to purchase your time slot. So that way we can control the amount of people that come in. Now, I know typically in years past, there have been there's been the, the process where you're hiring staff and you do auditions and that type of thing. How, how yeah. was that altered by the, the guidelines because of the pandemic? Were, did you just call people back that are, are typically, you know, they work for you every year or were you able to incorporate yeah. any new yeah. people in? No new people. We didn't do our interviews because of the whole uh, COVID virus thing and we'd have to be indoors. But uh, we have over 100 actors out here. So we just were able to pick from uh, from those people that wanted to make it and the ones that we thought would fit the position. Perfect. All right. So what do people need to know? You, you mentioned there's going to be social distancing and such. Um, customers that come will have to wear masks. Um, what are some of the yes. other guidelines that people will need to know about? And also the, the method of getting a ticket. What do, what do people need to know? Well, the method of getting a ticket is they're going to have to go online and they're going to have to purchase the time slot. Um, we're going to be in half hour increments. So once that time slot is filled, then it'll go to the next one. Um, people will be required to wear masks and we are going to have hand sanitizing and hand washing stations all throughout so people can always make sure that their, their hands are clean and, and the areas that maybe were, are touched more, um, those are going to be sanitized on a regular basis. Um, See, what else? Well, are you going to be, for instance, I know in the past, large groups of people like to come and be scared together. Are you limiting the size of, of groups that come in? Um, and if, if people are going to be walking through the forest, um, you know, in a half hour, in half hour sections, are you limiting the number of people in, that can go through in that half hour? And what, how do those numbers work? Well, we're going to limit uh, eight people per group. I know sometimes people show up with a, uh, you know, sometimes people come with 10, 15 people, but uh, eight people per group. And it's not going to be every half hour we're going to let a group in. That's just going to be your waiting period. So you're not going to stand in line more than a half hour. And we will require people to be socially distanced while they are in the queue line. Okay. But once, okay. once they uh, get their group gets to the entrance, then they can, they can go in together. I see. What about some of the other features that people enjoy? Pumpkin patch, there's usually food vendors on site. How are, how are those uh, vendors going to be operating this year? Well, this year we're not uh, going to have the Midway open, and the Midway is where I'm sitting right now, this beautiful area out here. But that's where we have our food vendors and our, and our fire pits and our music and dancing. We're not going to do that. So once they exit, they're going to walk past our food vendors so they can grab something uh, with them on the way home. Okay, so it's it's food to grab and go. Yes, there may be a table or two, but uh, we're not going to encourage people to wait around because you know we got to get people out and. Uh, of course, adhere to the the, uh, the guidelines of social distancing. Right. Okay, so tell us once again, is there a particular website that we need to know if we want to get tickets, and when does the fun begin? Hobbsgrove.com. It's uh, easy enough, and the fun begins um, October 9th is our first day of operation. Um, tickets go on sale October 1st. Uh, we're going to be open from Thursday through Sunday, and if 
all of our time slots get full, then we will add on more days. So oh. hopefully we'll fill all those time slots and have some more days of fun. Well, I think I have a feeling it's going to be very popular. We're so, again, so happy to hear that Hobbs Grove will be operating, albeit limited. It's still exciting that, that it's going to be available in our community. Billy Bob, thank you so much. It's great to see you. Glad that you're Good. safe and, and happy thank haunting. You. Thank you, and, and hopefully you'll come out sometime, Stephanie. I don't think I've ever seen you in person. I I've seen guess, everybody else. I, I don't know. Though I, <laughs> I might be a little bit scared, but I don't know. Maybe this year. We'll see. Thanks. Bring your husband. He'll take care of you. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.